My name is Sam Brewer. I'm a professional wrestler by the name of Sam Osborne. Um, with a guy called a guy by the name of Lee Leslie, working name was Jay Law, uh, at a place called the Australian Pro Wrestling Gym, and I was super lucky because I had no, I didn't know any Australian wrestlers, to be honest, I didn't know anybody, and I kind of just went, again, I googled, went which is the closest pro wrestling gym to me, found that one in Penrith, and just went, okay, I'm going there, and. Super fortunate to find a guy who was well-traveled and super knowledgeable and got me prepared to the point where the training I got from him made me stand out over here because that's something I had that nobody else did. So I'm super grateful for, for what I learned back there. I was pro wrestling in Australia. Um, did about two years there training and after that point kind of figured out that this, this was for me. It's time to start traveling. So I knew I wanted to go to Canada. I figured that that wouldn't be too much of a culture shock. So at that point, it was just finding the right school. And <laughs> I did a Google search and found Battle Arts Academy. I thought, yeah, that, and that's, that's the one. The training's been awesome. Um, it was everything I expected. The facility's insane. It has everything. And then you have the best coaches going around as well. So it's, it's, it's everything you can ask for. In my opinion, Sam is ready to go and perform at any level. Um, overseas, in Japan, WWE, Impact, he's ready. He just needs his opportunity. When he came in here, he was already strong. He already had a great look. He's already athletic. But we had to fine tune the psychology. And I can just see when I'm talking to Sam, he's absorbing it. He understands it. He's an intelligent guy. And now he has that final piece of the puzzle. He understands what he's doing in the ring at any given time and, and where it relates to the story we're telling. So now that he has that final piece, like I said, he's ready. He's ready for the big leagues. He can go anywhere. Uh, I didn't really get into wrestling until I was about 15 years old. Before that, I was super obsessed with sport. Cricket, rugby, basketball, they were my favorites. Um, and theatrical. I loved theater. I got into drama. I was heaps into acting. Um, I did a whole bunch of plays and musicals um, going up through high school and then even after high school I did like a music video. I love to perform and I love sport so progressing into professional wrestling was, it was natural for me. My parents started letting me watch wrestling. <laughs> I, growing up, we weren't really allowed to watch it. So when I, you know, age 15, it was on TV and I started watching it. And I guess I was old enough at that point that they didn't really care that I was watching it. And then, I don't know, man, I was, I was obsessed. I started watching it, I got into it. Me and my buddies created a, a backyard wrestling, um, a backyard wrestling company, I guess. called THW, where we were doing dumb things, jumping off ladders onto mattresses and killing each other for, for no audience and for no money and just because we loved it. The ultimate goal for me is for pro wrestling to put food on my table and a roof over my head. There's nothing else that I've done where I've thought, this is it, you know? Or it's like, as soon as I got into pro wrestling, it didn't take long where I figured out, okay, well, this is what I want to do. I love to be athletic and I love to perform and I love to compete. This gives me all of those things. So this is, this is my ultimate. My goal is to try and give people something that they wouldn't see from any other match on the card specifically. And also something they wouldn't see from anybody else on another show in Ontario. Um, I want them to leave and go, oh man, that Australian guy was really cool. And they go look me up. That's the goal, right? That bolt of energy that you talked about when you come through the curtain is, is the dream. That's the ultimate adrenaline rush. Um, and you know, that's, that's my drug, that's my addiction. In a year from now, 
Um, that depends. Um, hopefully, in another country, keep doing what I do. Um, if I can't be signed with one of the major companies in the next year or two, then I'd love to be in another country continuing to do this somewhere else and getting my name out there as globally as humanly possible, right? I guess that's the goal for the next year or two years and that's essentially what I keep planning to do. I keep plugging away at the uh, big, bigger companies, the WWEs and Impacts or whatever and seeing if I can get a, a real job out of this. If not, I'm just going to keep traveling and keep doing exactly what I'm doing now in as many countries as possible until one of those, until one of those companies takes notice.